In this video, I'll be showing you three super easy and clean text effects you can create in After Effects for completely free. We will be using one free plugin for one of the text effects, but I will be linking all resources and links in the description, so overall, this tutorial should be pretty easy to follow. If you find this video helpful in any way, I would appreciate it if you could drop a like or possibly even subscribe. So without any delay, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first text effect is this really clean pop-up animation. Now before we get started, installing the Decompose Text plugin will make your workflow much quicker, so let's do that first. Go ahead and click the link provided in the description to get started, and once you open the link, you'll reach this AE Scripts and Plugins page. Now all you want to do is, under this name your own price text, you want to click this box, type 0 to get it for free, and then you want to press Add to Cart. Now once you're in your shopping cart, go ahead and click proceed to check out to either sign in or create a new account to proceed to the next step. Once you've finished your checkout, go ahead and click your username on the top right of your screen right here and go to my downloads and licenses and you should find a decomposed text plugin right here. Go ahead and click download. Okay, so once you have your decomposed text plugin right here, you can right click it and then hit extract all and enter. Once you've extracted your file, go ahead and open it and you should find a file called decomposedtext.jsx. Now from here, go ahead and select the file, right click and click copy. Once you do that, I want to locate your C drive and go to program files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects with your version, support files, scripts, and then script UI panels and I want you to hit control V right here to paste the file. I'm just going to go ahead and replace the file. And you're done! Now that you have the plugin, let's move on to After Effects. Alright, so now that we're in After Effects, let's start off by creating a new composition. Set your width to 1920, height to 1080, frame rate to 60, duration 10 seconds, and name it anything you would like. I'm gonna name it Text Animation 1. Go ahead and click OK. So now that we have our brand new composition, let's start off by creating a new text layer. You can do that by either hitting Ctrl T or clicking this text tool right here at the top. Once you do that, just click this empty area of your preview screen right here and make any text you would like. I'm just going to name it Aerial Effects. After that, I want you to hit Ctrl A to select the entirety of the text and make sure you find the Align tab to align them horizontally and vertically. If you don't have the Align window, all you want to do is go to Window and hit align right here. So now your text should be completely centered to your screen and ready to be animated. But before that, we need to make sure the anchor point for the text is at the center as well. And to do that, all you want to do is hit Y. And while dragging this little anchor point right here, I want you to hit Control and then just move it to the center. And it should center right here. Now your text is ready to animate. And now is the time to use our brand new Decompose text plugin. To open it, I want you to click Window and scroll down until you find this decompose text.jsx. Now go ahead and click it for me, and you should open this little window right here. Now from here, I want you to select your text and make sure you have the same settings as mine and click decompose. Now once you do that, it should generate a bunch of new text layers with each of the letters from your text right here and separate them into different layers. To hide all of this at once, just go ahead and click this empty area of your timeline and hit U on your keyboard. Then you should be able to see every layer clearly. So now we can start getting animating. So I want you to select every text layer aside from your original layer, which is already hidden. As you can see, there is no eyeball icon right here. So if you think you won't need it in the future, just go ahead and delete that layer. Now from here, I want you to select all of the layers and hit P on your keyboard. Once you do that, these really handy position keyframes should show up on your screen. I want you to click on any of these stopwatch icons and just go ahead and click it and go ahead and move your timeline indicator to around 1.5 seconds. Now keep in mind, if you want your text animation to be longer, you can obviously extend it and vice versa. But for now, I'm just going to make it 1.5 seconds. Now once you move your time indicator to the point you would like, go ahead and click this diamond icon that you can see right here. There you will create a new set of keyframes for the text to be in, but it should be at the same position, so there should be no movement at all for now. Okay, then move your time indicator to 0 seconds, select all of the keyframes at the start just like this, and then use your Y positioning keyframe right here, and then you want to hold it and then drag it down just like that. Drag it to the right. Okay, so if you view your animation right now, it should have a nice, simple, linear up animation. Now this is a very important foundation, so make sure you remember this. Okay, so after that, I want you to select all of your text once again, and we're gonna make a small fade in animation. I want you to move your time indicator to zero seconds while you're selecting all of the text. 
Once you do that, I want you to hit T on your keyboard and it should open all of these opacity keyframes right here. Go ahead and click the stopwatch icon on any of these layers. And I want you to move one of these a bit to the right, somewhere right here. Not too much, but go ahead and play around to see for yourself. Once you do that, make sure you're still in zero seconds and then change this value to zero. Then it should create a nice fade in animation just like that. Okay, so I know. Right now, it doesn't look anything similar to the animation you saw at the start, but don't worry, we're gonna get there in no time, so stay with me. After this, go ahead and go back to your position keyframes by selecting all of your text layers and hit P on your keyboard. Okay, so from here, what do you think we have to do to make this animation delayed character by character? Well, it's quite simple. Let me tell you a little tip. If you use your page up and down key, you can actually move your time indicator frame by frame. And this becomes really handy when you're trying to move things in small increments. I want you to move your time indicator to zero seconds and select your second text layer from the top and move your time indicator for a couple of frames to the right. To do that, hit your page down key a couple of times I'm just gonna do it one, two, three, four, five maybe. And then I want you to drag your text layer while holding shift to snap into place just like that. Now go ahead and repeat this process for the remaining text layers. So one, two, three, four, five by pressing page down, dragging this text layer while holding shift to snap onto place. Okay, once you're done, it should look something like this and the animation itself, something like this. Okay, I know, it doesn't look too appealing right now, but the next step is really important to give this text some nice animations. So, what I want you to do is select all of your keyframes right here for your position keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard. Then it should make your keyframes look something like an hourglass. Now while your keyframes are still selected, I want you to click your graph editor right here. And once you open it, it might not look exactly identical to mine. And if it's not, I want you to click this button right here beside the eye icon and click edit speed graph. Then you should see something like this. Now you can actually zoom in and zoom out by holding alt and using your scroll wheel. So what you want to do is select all of these little points by dragging your mouse just like this and then all of these yellow dots should appear. Now go ahead and zoom into these little points towards the middle. Now you should see these two yellow dots where the yellow line ends. Now go ahead and zoom out just a little bit for me again. Now I want you to hold this left yellow dot and move it a bit to the left something like this. Not too much, but not too small as well. Now for your right dot right here, I want you to do the same, but move it to the very left. Now make sure it doesn't go up and down like this. Make sure in the same level and make it very to the left. Perfect. It should look something like this and I want you to exit out of your graph editor. Now if you zoom out once again, you can view your animation and it should look something like this. Nice. Now that is what a nice pop-up animation looks like. Now once again, make sure you play around with your keyframes yourself, change out the values, and see what kind of effect that makes. That is how you learn After Effects. Let's move on to the next text effect. Okay, so next we're gonna create this super clean morphed liquid type text animation. So let's start by creating a new composition once again. Same settings as last time, name it anything you would like. I'm gonna name it Text Animation 2. Okay, so once again, let's start off by creating a new text layer by hitting Ctrl T or clicking this button right here. Select anywhere on this screen and type anything you would like. This time I'll be typing subscribe. So once again, Ctrl A, align it with the align tab and move your anchor point by hitting Y to open up the tool and move this while hitting Ctrl to center it. Now you can always hit V again to change your tool back to the move tool. So the next thing I want you to do is select the text layer once again and go to your effects and presets tab you can find somewhere around here. If you don't have this window, all you gotta do is click window right here and find effects and presets right here. Now that you have this search bar, I want you to search for roughen edges right here. Now all you gotta do is drag this onto the text just like that. So to make this actual morphing animation, First, we have to create a couple of keyframes. So let's go ahead and change a couple of things. So first, I want you to move your time indicator to wherever you want your text animation to end or stop animating. I'm gonna do maybe one and a half seconds once again. And then I want you to open your effect controls tab. And once again, if you don't see this, I want you to go to window and find effect controls right here. Now make sure you have your text selected and you have your roughen edges effect right here. Now beside border, I want you to click the stopwatch icon and make the value to zero. And for the same thing for edge sharpness, click the stopwatch 
make the value to zero. Now these are the two main keyframes we're gonna use to animate this text. Now while you have your text selected, go ahead and hit U on your keyboard to view these two keyframes. Now let's go ahead and move our time indicator to zero seconds and change our edge sharpness to around seven. Now of course you can play around with these values later on to see how it looks, but for now we're gonna keep it at seven. Now here is where the morphing comes in. You wanna change the border and increase it to around 250. But this value is quite abstract, so I want you to play around with it and see what works best for you. And it should, according to my calculations, completely disappear from your screen. Or maybe just a small blob of white around the screen. But if you go ahead and view your animation right now, it should look something like this. Perfect. So what I can see from here is that it still doesn't have that morphing effect going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my effect controls tab and I'm going to look for scale right here. And I'm going to increase it to like kind of see a nice blobby effect. Something like this. Now I set it at 240, but once again, I want you to play around and see what's best for you. Let's go ahead and preview our animation. Awesome. So. It's not as smooth yet, so we're going to go ahead and start easing our keyframes. Go ahead and select all of your keyframes right here and hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. After this, I want you to open up your graph editor and I want you to go on edit to speed graph view by clicking this button and right here. Once you do that, I want you to just drag your mouse so you can select all of these points and you should have these two yellow dots right here. To move around the timeline, you can hold space and hold left click to look around. Now after this, I want you to move this left yellow dot to a little bit to the left and then I want you to move this right yellow dot to the very left. Now make sure this doesn't go up or down once again. Make sure this is straight so you see that orange line on the right and exit out of your graph editor once it looks like this. So let's preview our animation. Awesome. This is how you make a super nice morphing text animation. Now, if you're encountering any problems creating these wonderful animations yourself, feel free to join my Discord, link in the description down below, where we have a lot of people who are willing to help. But without further ado, let's move on to the final text effect. Okay, so this final text animation is actually a pretty well-known and widely used effect amongst designers, and it is the good old classic handwritten effect. Super easy to make, so let's go. Let's create a new composition and name it anything you would like and feel free to copy down my settings. Click OK. Once you open it up, create a brand new text layer by hitting Ctrl T on your keyboard and then select anywhere on this screen. Type anything you would like, I'll name it handwritten and then Ctrl A and same as always, align it to the center. Hit Y to open your anchoring tool. Drag this while holding Ctrl and center it just like that. So after this, all you want to do is put in the Turbulent Displace effect by going to Effects and Presets, search Turbulent Displace, drag it right onto the text. Now it'll look a little bit wobbly at first, but if we change a couple of settings, we'll be right there. Let's change the amount to 12 and change the size to 13. Now it'll look just a slightly bit wobbly and this is a perfect amount for us to make the animation. Now after this, all you want to do is under the effects controls tab right here, go to evolution options and find random seed. Beside random seed, you'll find the stopwatch icon. I want you to hold alt and left click this stopwatch icon. Now create a new line right here and type time asterisk 10. Now this will create this really clean handwritten text effect. And to make this text look even more handwritten, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and change the font. All right, so I just picked this random font and I think it looks fantastic. But once again, if you wanna play around with the settings, for example, the amount and the size, please feel free to do so and it should look a little different. If you want this effect to stand out more, I suggest you increase the amount and not the size. Now, we are done with the effect, but I suggest you do one thing. We can actually combine this with the previous rough and edges text effect we learned and actually make it look even better. Now, this text effect doesn't have a pop-up animation. So if we do the previous rough and edges text effect, it will look something like this. Now, this looks pretty clean if I do say so myself. Now before we end the video, I just want to mention that if you want access to all three of these text animation project files, I do have a Patreon page that you can check from the link in the description down below. And for an incredibly cheap price, you can get this and so many more other animations that you'll definitely find helpful. Now I would really appreciate it if you could drop a like or possibly even subscribe if you did find this video helpful in any way. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!